May fall in. Christmas break. New series. I'm excited. Ah! I'm so excited for this series. I've been waiting for months to get it. My team bred and get the battles in and get it recorded, get it narrated. And finally, I have enough stocked up. Um, today's the 23rd. I just, school got out uh, 45 minutes ago. So that's the start of my Christmas break. And um, I'm finally getting a chance to narrate this. This is one of the best battles I'd, I've had. I'd say top ten. Um, definitely one of the best five I've posted. Probably best three. And it's the longest battle I've ever had. And oh my god, this was such a good battle. Roserade, Nato Queen lead. Good up. Uh, good uh, good place to be in for me. Um, cause I get something to sleep. Um, I get leech seed on something, and that's pretty much peachy. Um, miss the first sleep powder. You know what? I would rather have it there than anywhere else. That's I don't care. Um, he does he does get rocks up, which is. It's an annoyance because, to be honest, Starmie hasn't been working out perfectly as a rapid spinner. Just has, hasn't been bulky enough. Um, but at the same time, Fortress would ha I would have to completely change my team if I wanted to use Fortress. So Starmie has done enough, but it's just not really defensive enough, and it hasn't been. The sand kind of cripples it with leftover. So there, I go right into Starmie. I'm going to get rocks down ASAP, and he goes into a Magna Zone. Oh, crap. That is that is bad news. That is awful, awful news, because my Tyranitar won't be able to kill it. My Scar will get destroyed by it. Um, Gliscor, eh, maybe, but he's going to have massive special attack and either um, Flash Cannon or HP Ice, or both, and either one is going to whack. Glyph score. So my only option is Gastron. I have to pray he doesn't have HP Ice. I do see leftovers, which means I will live in HP Ice, but what can I do about that? Not much. Um, I'm looking at what his base speed is, what Glyph Score's base speed is, and he's going to not need that much speed to outspeed Glyph Score. So I'm in deep crap right now. I'm already thinking it's Cooper. He's probably going to have Magnet Rise. Um, that's not good. I see hidden power. I'm mortified. Okay, okay, I'm fine. Um, that was the scariest moment of, of the battle. And that, that was me, like, going nuts, because I, I know I'm going to be fine at this point. Magnezone's not going to be able to touch me, unless it wants to explode, but I don't think he's going to want to explode. I go for an ice cream, trying to get tricky. Um, Noticing he's bringing in a Vaporeon to a Gastron. He might be a little ground weak. So I might want to hang on to Gastron and Gliscor. Hmm. Um, it is a Vaporeon. I'm assuming Toxic is coming. Um, that's really all I'm worried about. Any heal though, so it's, that's really nice that I went to uh, uh, Rosary because now I can get something to sleep. Um, Um, I believe I go for a Leech Seed. I'm not positive. Um, there's a lot of turns where it's, um, Roserade versus something that Cooper doesn't want to get slept. Um, there you go. I Leech Seed as Empoleon, which is probably, if it's going to be sub Patai, which I doubt just because Cooper, then that would be a very good thing. If it's bulky, that would be a very good thing. Um, so right now I'm thinking that's, a pretty solid, solid thing for me to have. Um, he yawns my Starmie. If I want someone to sleep, it's Starmie because I can switch out and not care. Um, I love having dual natural cure, though I don't have a realm of therapy on the scene. But all the same, um, uh, status has not been too much of a hindrance. Um, I go right out to Roserade. I really should have wrapped it. Oh, oh, he protected. Okay. Um, I was just about to say, uh, I really should have wrapped it's fun. No, I shouldn't have. Um, I believe I'm just going to switch around here, really not do much, much of anything, and just try to get him out, or um, try to whittle him down with uh, 
with Weechi because I'm not going to do much of anything to him anytime soon. This is an interesting turn. I'm p almost positive he's going to switch. I don't have to switch because I have natural cure. Um, the fact that he has yawn and not another sleep move on any of his guys, well, hopefully not on any of his other guys, means that I'm fine. I don't have to get slept, and if I do get slept, I can switch out and completely erase it. I get Magna Zone of Sleep, which is, oh my god, that's, that's so good. Um, because that thing is a huge threat. It will, it will kill everything on my team, except Gashon, but it will most likely have Explosion. Um, and if that is the case, I know all four moves. And if I see another move, I know he doesn't have Explosion to Gashon, I'll see. I switch into Gliscor, and, um, hoping to get Rocks up, and he goes into Vaporeon. My switch is pretty much necessary. Um, nothing else I can do. Which is why I'm doing Stealth Rock. Um, Second Hill, my, my thought is he's not Ice Beam. For one thing, he has Heal Bell, so he doesn't have Ice Beam. But in the off chance that he doesn't have a Wish or something bizarre, then um, I'm going to be fine. He does go for Surf, which is a very nice play, even though my Star is pretty much just like obvious. So, very nice play for him there. And how much HP do I have? 54. I can barely live Stealth Rock entries, but not by much. I'm not going to be able to, to switch into anything. Um, I have to fodder someone, basically, or predict a switch to something I'm faster than. And right now, I think Nether Queen's the only thing I outspeed with Close Core. Oh, except for before. Now, Starmie's in, Vaporeon's in, it's not going to have HP Electric and Heal Bell, so I'm fine to Rapid Spin. There we go. Alright, Rocks are down. Yay. Um, I'm not worried about about playing the Rapid Spin game over and over, even though Nidoqueen Queen can pretty much get Rocks up at will. Um, it's just she's not a problem. Um, I have Gastron, Roserade, Starmie, Skarmory to just have a field day on her. I can get Leech Seed. I can kill her probably. Um, so I'm not worried about Nidoqueen Queen because I know she's going to be a piece of cake to kill. The Gopher seems very, very um, reluctant to do anything but surf. And I, I found that peculiar. Um, once again, I switch Roserade in as he heal bells. Now I'm thinking... Well, I want Magazone to sleep. Magazone's the one I want to sleep. But, if I get um, Vaporeon to sleep, then it stays asleep, and that really seems like his only wall at this point. Um, he hasn't shown me anything resistant to ground. In fact, everything else he has is weak to ground. So, that's something I'm instantly like trying to take advantage of. Um, but he is going to make some nice plays and not let Vaporeon get slept. I get a Grass Knot on loop, which is actually pretty nice, because that's a pretty decent chunk. That's a third of his HP. And I know that if it Swords Dances, if it Close Combat right off the bat, it's not going to kill Skarm, um, unless it has HP Fire, which it's not, because it shows me Roll Punch. So it's physical, it will not kill Skarm. And the story, I'm, I believe I go for a layer of Spikes. If not, I Whirlwind, maybe? Uh, fearing the magazine switch. But I believe I went for a layer of spikes here. Um, mainly because I think if I got a layer of spikes, it's over right there. Um, but then he focused blast, which, whoa, that killed me. Wow, okay. Um, so now I have to fear HP ice with Gliscor. Well, I'd be slower anyway. Um, so I don't have much to do. Um, I go to Starmie just because I have to. And, uh, he goes right to Vaporeon. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about Vaporeon. It's not going to do anything to me. It's just going to waste time. And eventually, I'm going to get him out of Heal Bells. Wish if he has it. Um, so eventually, something's going to happen. He does show me Wish, um, which means his last move is Protect. Um, so he has Surf Heal Bell. Wish Protect. So that's cool. Um, goes into, into Empoleon, and I sleep I sleep that. Luckily it misses. I don't want Empoleon to sleep. Um, Empoleon's just there to waste my time. Um, I want Luke, Magnezone, Vaporeon, um, not Nidoqueen as much. I want one of them asleep. Um, so that was a nice play on his part. I was just trying to get something that he doesn't want to sleep asleep. Um, that's what I was going for there. 
Uh, I get another leech seed off because I, I'm confident at this point Empoleon doesn't have Ice Beam. And if it does, it's not going to 2 a KO. He's not offensive. Um, so I get leech seed off, so I'm going to go right back into Starmie and Rapid Spin. He doesn't have a spin blocker. Ooh, an even better move for me. Wow, alright. Um, I was really afraid of Ice Beam that turn, but, um, wow, that's actually a really good play. I forgot about that. Yeah, um, what I was trying to do there is get Leech Seed so that I can switch out if I want, or I can stay in Roost now. I see his last is Glyph Score, so that's his ground resistor. Um, Starmie's going to be fine against him. Gastron's going to be fine against him. Even if he Toxics, Gastron can kill him, but, uh, I'm pretty much going to be fine. Um, switch out a Rosary. He has Aerial Ace, which is not Earthquake, which is better, because now I have to, don't have to recover. And uh, I believe I wrap... Did I already wrap it spin? I must have, because there's no... Oh, oh, right. I switched into uh, Rosary to attack the Spice of God. That's nice. Um, I'm predicting some sort of switch, so I'm going to switch. Um, and he does. He switches into Vaporeon. My thought process with, with Gastron was that it's the safe move. If he stays in with Gliscor, he can't two-hit KO. I can Ice Beam kill it or Recover Stall and start playing that game. If he goes to Magnezone, then that's perfect. If he goes to Vaporeon, I can Toxic it because he does not have Toxic. Um, and uh, so it's basically the safest move I have. I c there's nothing going to go wrong with it. He doesn't have anything for Gastron. All he has is going to be Magnezone's Explosion and whittling it down. And at this point, if I can trade Gastrodon for Magnezone, that's that's going to be what I want to do, because he really just doesn't have much of any... Or the rest of my team is pretty solid against his, and Gastrodon is... While it's good against everything, it's not necessary for everything. So I'm thinking I want to trade Gastrodon for Magnezone if that's going to happen. Um... I Toxic Vaporeon knowing it has Heal Bell because I want to make him waste the turn. Every turn that I get to do something is just a small, tiny advantage that might help me work towards killing something. How about that? Because um, at this point, it's, it is 6-5, but I'm winning. It's just I'm pretty worried because I'm thinking Magnezone and Lucario teamed up can probably kill almost all of my team. Um, I T-Bolt the Empoleon, and I got Grass Knotted, which, it hurts pretty good. Um, he's going to switch, wanting to keep that, and I believe I switch, oh no, I go for T-Bolt, okay. Because um, I, I didn't want to die, and I didn't want to switch anything else in. Um, it's no harm there. Um, Magazone's in, I know it's going to sub, but at the same time, Cooper's just tricky enough that I can't risk it. I can't risk him making an exceptional play here. And, uh, he's gonna... I forget what he goes for, but I believe I go right for Gastron again. Um, there we go. Alright. Um, just because I know, even if he does a double switch, he can't do anything. Um, he just doesn't have anything to do. And already, if you notice, if I had a layer of spikes, this game would almost be over already. He just, he can't pass wishes enough. They pour on, can't switch in much with, um, with toxic spikes up. So, or with spikes up. So I basically would have won right there if I had gotten spikes. So, um, even though he could have switched Magnezone in on his farm, that was the right play going with spikes. But I ended up dying. Who cares? Rosary versus they pour on again. Um, these are some real interesting matchups. Hold on, I'm going to be right back. I'm really liking these uh, Rosary versus Vaporeon matchups because it's a it's a lot like when uh, Kamen and I had that um, Crobat versus Crobat wars in uh, OU19. Um, it's just every every move is pretty much a small little prediction, like with him passing wishes that could make a difference, but it's probably not going to. But you have to play every move like really carefully, just the same. Um, I get a lead sheet off on Lucario. I would have rather had it asleep, but um, turns out I'm faster, and I put him asleep right now. Um, I knew I would live anything. Um, if he's not purely physical, he's not going to Oko me, even with an ice punch. So, <coughs> so um, I knew at this point that he was 
heavily special, specially attacking. What the heck? And um, and if he's not almost max special attack, or if he he is, he's ma almost max special attack. He's either max speed, in which case he's weak attack, or he's max attack, in which case he's low speed. Looks like he's closer to max attack. Still not sure though. Um. Uh, this was one of the points where it looked like it was going to DC. That happened a bunch of times, um, and we were really scared. Uh, we thought the Avalon Wi-Fi was going to disconnect us. Um, the Magnezone's in there, and I'm faster, so I can sleep it. But that might not be the best move. I might want to go with Leech Seed instead, because I'm not, I'm probably not going to get two hit KO'd by HPS. In fact, I think I'm guaranteed not to. And we'll see here. There you go. Um, Rosary's special bulk is really good. It's been, it's her special bulk has like been more effective than I thought it would be. Even though she really only has 251, but everything that hits her super effective pretty much has been that I've let her take has been HPX or H hidden powers. So that's all she's needed to take. She hasn't needed to take heat waves from that dose, but she can. Um, so that's just one thing that uh, I thought was pretty nice about um, about this team. Um, uh, wow, this, I think this Wi-Fi was getting really slow. Um, he makes a nice switch, goes into Nidoqueen Queen for my Gastron, and I'm fine with Nidoqueen Queen switching into Gastron already there because he's weak to Ice Beam and Earth Power, but I don't want to stay in with Gastron on him. Um, I don't want him setting up more than one layer of something. Uh, here I believe I start recovering. If not, I should. Um, so you can kill me. Uh, so what happens? I believe he switches, but I'm not positive. Um, I'm expecting at this point he'll have Earthquake, um, but I'm not positive. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. At this point, I'm expecting Taunt and Super Fang. Um, just the Zerf set. That's what I'm expecting. No confirmation on that whatsoever. I have no idea if he's bulky or not, because I haven't even hit him. Um, so I'm just kind of hoping and figuring he'll have that. He goes into Vaporeon again, which is... It puzzles me. I guess he wants to pass Wishes, but... I don't know. Um, I thought... Who knows? I guess I guess he was figuring in the in the event I did surf, he would have to be not he would have to be in Vaporeon and not in anybody else. Um, I'm gonna make a prediction. I don't care that I got this wrong. Um, he makes a nice double heal though. I don't care whatsoever that I completely muffed that prediction. That was the right play for me to do. If he goes into Luke, if he goes into Gliscor, if he goes into Magnezone, he'd take damage, but he'd live. Um, so I still think that was absolutely the right play. I, I could not let Luke or anybody else get a wish, so I made the right play. I don't care that he got healed. He's going to heal himself anyway. Um, and, uh, now this time I think I switched. I'm not positive. Um, not positive. But, uh, yeah. Figuring he'll probably have a protector T bolt. Um. Jeez, it really slows down here. Um. There it goes. Yes, yeah, Surf might kill at this HP. Hard to tell. Probably not. Almost definitely not, but can't tell for sure. Um. But he does get a wish up, which is a nice play considering I just surfed the last time. I, um. I feel like I do the same prediction twice in a row a lot more than other people. Like, I will I will sucker punch twice in a row and fail at it more than pretty much anybody else. Most people will sucker punch once, and if it fails, then they'll do something else. But, um, regardless, it's Magnezone versus Starmie, so I'm in trouble. Probably means Gastron. Could mean Gliscor, but, uh, we're still not sure how much speed he has. And, um, there's really no way for me to find out, short of 
short of getting him with a hit and seeing if it does, like, more than I expect or not as much as, as I expect, maybe he'll be max or min, so who knows. But, um, I'm thinking at this point, I just have to assume he's max speed. Um, I, I can't risk him not being max speed and let Gliscor die, because I've already lost Skarm. And if I lose two physical walls, that's a pretty big problem. Um, there we go. Up time. Going to Gastron. No big deal. That's what I have to do. And he's gonna make he's gonna make another nice play. And um well, hmm. See, he has Grass Knot, but I know that's not going to two of him me. I don't know why I switch. I think it was because of Yawn. I was expecting him to Yawn. Yes, that's it, that's it. Okay. This is what I was, what I was expecting. Yawn, substitute, bring in Magnazone, dominate. That's what I was expecting. I made a nice play going to start everybody crib. So, it's actually, I believe it's 6 4 at this point. Maybe, um, no, did that kill something? Didn't that kill something? No, I don't think I did. Um, well, I go up an earthquake there. New protects just to get extra lefties so he can come in again later. Um, basically, all it was to that. Uh, he goes to do his own glow score. And I look really quickly. He could have Ice Fang and a decent amount of attack, which I'm figuring he might have since he has, since he used Aerial Ace, which means he has more than just Earthquake. But, um, so I'm going to be safe even if he has Ice Fang, and I'm going to Roost, is Aqua Tail, so that's not even what kind of two it can be from where I was, and I get a Roost up. Awesome. Gliscor's at max health. He's not going to have much to do, except Napoleon who can't switch in, and Vaporeon who doesn't want to switch in. Um, so I'm going to Toxic, and I believe it mixed there, is that right? Um, so he goes into Vaporeon to take a Toxic, and I actually Earthquake. Um, this is going to get a crit, which is a pretty big deal. It's actually an enormous deal, actually, because um, now he can't take another, and he can't switch out and back in. So that's going to be the death of his Vaporeon. Um, honestly... The crits we got probably just saved time. Because he was eventually going to run out of heal belts, and he was eventually going to run out of wishes. Um, all I had to do was sit in there and st with, in, with uh, Starmie and waste surfs until he did. Um, but at the same time, there are crits, there are lanes. So, whatever. I don't think they had a big impact on the game. And, um, that's the end of that. Crits happened, whatever. That was honestly not a bad time for them. Um, you're going to play a two-hour match. You're going to get some hacks. And really, it wasn't that crucial in this game, which is always a good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my first kill, and it was an hour and a half into the game. Um, in fact, yeah, it was just past 92 minutes. So that's nuts. It's 5-4 at this point. But, but I'm winning. I'm in the driver's seat. He has two things that can do anything, and I do have pretty decent walls for him. He brings in Nidoking, which is awful news. Um, it's going to get SR up. I'm not going to be able to get it back down again. But he, he goes with Super Fang? What? Why would he do that? I was puzzled by this. Um, I thought either Stealth Rock or, or Toxic Spikes would have been a better play. Um, I really don't understand why he didn't go for hazards. Um, Rosary can get HP back. Um, Gastron can get HP back. Ghost can get HP back. And my last is Tyranitar. Um, I should explain this a little. Um, Tyranitar, I saw pretty quickly that it was useless. I saw Lucario. I saw Magnuson. I saw Gliscor. Vaporeon, most likely going to be worth, worthless against. And Nidoqueen. He can't do a thing. In fact, he's going to help Cooper. Because he's going to get Sandvale. He's going to get... He, he has 
three steel types who resist both of Tyranitar's moves. He has Gliscor, who might as well resist both of his moves, and Rockslide's not even going to hit Gliscor. And he has a Corian who can pretty much wall Tyranitar. So I do not want to bring Tyranitar in, and um, just figured I'd touch on that in my narration. I was thinking that throughout the whole battle, um, and I kept forgetting. I just never mentioned it in the narration, so there you go. I um, didn't want to bring t -tar. End of story. Um, because mostly when I was seeing his team, I still, I was relying on Starmie a lot, um, and Starmie doesn't like sand. Roserade does not like sand either, and Roserade's huge in this match. In fact, probably MVP for my side, while Luke is MVP for his side. Oh crap, he closed combat to Tethys. That's not good. Crap, 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 crap. Um, I'm gonna get a good, good, good chunk back with Leech Seed and Leftovers. But he can still 2 a KO easily. So I need to decide what to switch into. Can't go to T Tar, even though I, if he didn't get Sand Up, I would consider it absolutely for um for some fodder. Um he shows me Focus Blast, which pretty much shows me that he was predicting Gliscor. Because if he wasn't predicting Gliscor, I think or if he was and he had something better, I think he would have used it. Um so I'm, I'm in here with Gliscor. I am afraid of HP Ice or Ice Punch, but at the same time, a trade with uh, Luke for Gliscor, that's probably all right with me. Um, in fact, I would be fine with that. I don't have anything better to, to trade for, uh, to, for Luke, and it looks like I'm going to have to trade something for Luke. But he ends up switching out, which is fine. Um, shows me that he can't touch Gliscor, or if not, he was predicting I would switch. And um, right now you're seeing why uh, that toxic miss earlier was kind of annoying. Um, you know, I I can't wear wear him down and force him to heal bell. Um, things are looking really strong for me. Um, he needs to get a rush to Lucario, and none of my three guys are going to be able, are going to let that happen because they can all just use their respective super effective or in the case of Roserade one-third damage dealing move. Um, there, I was, af I was afraid of Cooper using Yawn and then dying and going into Magnazone, but I figured I'd be alright and I would, I kind of have to let him do that. But he ends up living. Um, and he keeps grass nodding. I keep living, obviously, because I'm Gastron and I'm awesome. Um, but eventually, um, it seems like this point the match is really over. Um, Lucario has one hit left. He's gonna have absolutely no chance to get a um to get a wish back. It's just not gonna happen. He's gonna run out of wishes before that will happen. And um, once Luke dies, that's game unless it kills Gastron, which I'm not gonna let happen. He's either gonna sacrifice Luke for Gliscor or not kill anything at all with Luke. Um, uh, and at the same time, he he really can't kill Roserade, um, so it's basically game. And um, I switch in Gastron for Magnezone just because if he does explode, which I'm not sure he has at this point, but if he does go for it, then I'm still fine, and it's basically game over. Um, or yeah, because Empoleon slower than Gliscor, slower than Roserade. He has this thing. He's going to take an Earth Power up and not like it. Um, so it's looking like a Gastrodon sweep at this point, unless he has Explosion. So regardless, I win. This is going to be game over. And um, from here on out, it's just going to, going to be me running him out of running him out of guys. Um, ooh, that's an, I guess that's a nice play worthwhile. Um, I go to Roserade to take a Super Fang, which means that Gastrodon can now still live a, um, a close combat from Luke. Um, and also he's still not going with T-Spikes or Stealth Rock, which shocked me, and I was pretty relieved that he didn't. Um, uh, now here's this thing, Leech Seed, I'm going to get it. So now is the moment of truth. He either is going to show me Explosion against Gastrodon, or he's not going to have Explosion. Um, there's just no two ways about it. He can't afford to stay in with Magnezone or lose any more HP. Um, 
So I'm going to Gastron. Oh! Big Porygon died! I'm an idiot! Ah! He lost his wishes. That's why Luke had no chance of getting a wish. Even though it wouldn't if Big Porygon was alive. Anyway, um... One last time, going to Gastron. He's going to switch out, um... Into Empoleon. And he's just thinking he's going to get me low enough with Grass Knot. But, um... He's actually going to tell me he misclicks here and he yawns, which is actually the right play, so whatever. Um, from there, he go he's going to bring in Magnezone and sub. I'm going to go into Tyranitar then. I can't go into Gliscor in case he's faster. I can't go to um, uh, Roserade if he has a sub. So I'm going to go, go to uh, Tyranitar. The plan there was to make him explode or just T-Bolt, and I was going to taunt, or I was going to Dragon Dance and Crunch until he, until he either kills me without a sub, in which case I can go to get Gastrodon and be fine, or kill him, which is probably not going to happen, but just going to go into Tyranitar, start Dragon Dancing, start crunching, and um, eventually he's going to, he's going to, he's either going to kill me without a sub, or he's going to die. But the match is going to disconnect, and that's it. Thank you so much for battling. I had so much fun with this battle. You're going to love this series. Thanks for watching. Maycar out.